Hey guys! Recently, I've been watching a lot of people's sketchbook tours on YouTube, and I was thinking, well, I don't have any sketchbooks that I've made right now that I want to share, but I do have past sketchbooks that have never seen the light of day, <laughs> or haven't seen the light of day in many years, that I think could be really cool to share. Uh, specifically, I have this one sketchbook. And so this sketchbook, I'm for sure going to have to blur a lot of pieces of it because there's like personal information. There's also just stuff that I don't want to share. <laughs> um, so it's going to be like a lot of blurring. I'm sure my hands are like going underneath boxes right now. As the title suggests, this sketchbook was made during a time when I was not doing like what I consider to be the best. There's this whole idea that there's like this connection between being like unhappy and making good art. And that is the biggest lie ever. Um, I know for a fact that I make much better stuff when I am not very sad and emo. I do not want to contribute to like that idea that like, oh, you gotta be all like sad and stuff to make good art, you know? That's like not true at all. The reason I wanted to share this is because it's just like funny to me. Um, the stuff in it is genuinely stuff that I think is really cool and I want to share with people. I was a little, you know, in the head when I made this, but you know, times have gotten better and I'm making a new sketchbook now that eventually I'll be able to share. And I'm just so like mentally stable now that it's just gonna be so much better, you know? I'm just like so mentally stable and good and perfect. But anyway, during this time I was super into collage and stuff like that. Collage is cool because it's like taking all the stuff that you're kind of bombarded with visually and then just putting it all together and being like, this is what I'm making. Like I'm making stuff that is directly made out of the stuff that's influencing me. Collage is just like, yeah, it directly impacts what I make. Look, I'm making the stuff that I make out of the stuff that I see. So yeah, I'm doing really well. Men so for the cover, we have like a rating of four and a half stars. Uh, wow, it's ham. It starts here. That's just like telling you, you know, your journey's about to begin. No partner or experience necessary. This is a self-report. Warning, this product contains nicotine. This is like just me trying to be cool, I think, because I have never smoked um, nicotine in my life. <coughs> so here is the first little spread and immediately a lot of this is gonna have to be blurred out. One thing that I did during this time, like people always misspell my name, which is totally fine. Like my name is spelled different than than most people spell it. So I just, but I just thought it was funny to like collect a bunch of the times that I got papers with my name misspelled on it. And then we've got this spread, which it says the 50s and has like various things of women. Like, I think this is like supposed to be some kind of historical like discussion or something. Um, a woman with depth, sticky lips, barbecue, juke joint. So yeah, like women related things. We've got a drawing from one of my besties. This page, we have gesture drawings done in ink. You could almost call them paintings. They're somewhere in between, but I had never done gestures before this point or I had done them, but not loosely like this. I hadn't done real gestures, real gestures. So these are my real gestures. And some of them that I like are this one because it looks like it's wearing cowboy boots. Also, I don't like this drawing very much, but look how cool the ink is. It's all shiny and stuff. Um, and it says, discover your true identity. I don't know what I want to be. Another thing that I did with this sketchbook that I like and I want to use in future sketchbooks is I cut out like all the numbers from magazine. This page is more gestures and I crammed a lot more here and I think I got better with them as well. There's just really good like feeling in this one. And I like the costuming in this one. It kind of looks like, I don't know, like an older like fancy lady in a period drama or something. We've got Karate Man having a party, call us. So I get, you're supposed to like call these guys, I guess. I guess like you have a party, that's the idea. Like you have a party and like all these guys like show up. Here we have an upside down lady who if you turn right side up, looks like this. Just some different brush strokes and stuff. Hot and spicy, some trees. I like this tree a lot. And over on this side, we have a terribly drawn pot of flowers, but the idea is that you can see the roots inside. And then we have a code that I wrote. I have this fantasy of someday like keeping an entire journal written in code. 
like I just like the idea of like having my own kind of language to write in that like nobody else knows what it is. And then the idea with this one is that I, it's something that I could write in cursive. Usually when you see codes, they're all like separate, you know? So, you know, like when you normally are seeing codes like all the time, like, you know, when you're just like looking at codes, like how everybody does on like a, a Saturday or like a Sunday or whatever, like after church, when you look at the codes that you normally look at after church, you see like separate letters or whatever. Here we have more gestures and stuff. They're 30 seconds, so they're like really quick. Then we have more gestures. And then we have my timid young fingers held a decent animal, which is a lyric from The Shins, a song by The Shins. If you haven't listened to The Shins, you have to check it out. Have, you have to check them out. I love this song. This song is so good. This song makes me cry. I want to learn how to play it on guitar. The thing in it, the more gestures then the next big things masks for different parts of the body are coming and devices are getting better at home cupping kits cryotherapy face firming tools here we have plans for a wooden sculpture that i made i'll put a picture of that somewhere of my wooden sculpture and then a little a little mini city about this big we have tigers gotta eat because yes they do yes they do so we have like this shiny ink thing happening with watercolor on it and then we have this sketch of a of a what what is this a picture and then look at this it says bleed through but okay it's like it's bleeding through look whoa it's bleeding through so i like wrote it on here and then it bled through isn't that like Tumblr would love this, is all I'm gonna say. Here, we have more sad, um, we have more me being like emo, essentially. This entire sketchbook is, falls into the category of emo. Like, here's the category of emo, and then here is this sketchbook. I like this ink a lot, look, it's all shiny and stuff. And then I put, what did I put here? Oh, I splattered, um, I splattered masking fluid here. And then I put the ink down and then I wiped it away. So it creates like, it almost looks like the moon or like craters or something. And then it's like a maze, look. A, a brain maze. There are ghosts in our homes. And then psychoactive. Um, pearls are in. This is me declaring it. Different buildings comprised of just their negative shadow shapes. We have a page of cats. And we have this cat that's made out of all different colored pen. And then we have these other cats. I like this collection of pages a lot. To start, we have birds. And we have this bird who's got boots on. I drew the boots solely because I didn't want to draw the bird feet. Don't be afraid to mix woods or metals. And I have to say, I'm not. Like, I got over it, I guess. And then we have a bird taking off. We have birds here. We have a duck. This duck is sick. Look at it. And then we have a lily in bloom. A lily in bloom. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like that. We have a lily in bloom. And a cross section of the lily. And then we have lily of the valley. And more birds. A lily. I guess the theme was lilies. These are all different lilies. Did I even realize that when I was making it? I must have. Do you see what we see? Flowers, flowers everywhere, on runways, in creams, in creams, in creams, woven into our hair, st stolid in vases, and heavily on our minds. Stolid. I'm gonna look up what that means because I don't even know. And we've got another city. This creates kind of like a little landscape, I guess. And then we have, I don't know if you noticed, but this beautiful brochure, which, I have never read, actually. I just thought it was funny. Like, look at it. Why is it called that? More gestures happening with hats. Hats are great. You make a gesture and you put a hat on it and it's a great day to exist. This guy's doing like an airplane. This is a little zine that people did at the school that I went to. It's so cute. Look at it. We have the worst watercolor portrait I've ever made in my life. Um, we have Discover the Human Touch. Still yet to check that off the list. Why can't I ever finish my mac and cheese before someone fucking dies? 
you suddenly remember you can swim. This is so pretty, like right here. I could just cut this out, print it out. There you go. Then the idea was to make like the ugliest collage that I could. I wanted to like highlight all these like products because I just felt so surrounded by products, like how everybody feels like that. I wanted to try to capture what I felt like American culture was at the time. <laughs> um, and I still feel like this is pretty much American culture. But yeah, so there's like lots of beauty things. There's pizza, there's pizza, there's pizza, there's pizza, there's pizza, there's pizza. Then we have this character design of a character named Orchid. And she's both like, she's half flower, half Edwardian lady. So that's the inspiration for that. This is not, don't get mad at me, historical people. This is not super historically accurate. I just kind of stole some of the ideas of the fashion. More sketches of her happening, maybe like ideas of her house. Then we have more plans of this little mini wooden sculpture that I made. And look at this, I even wrote down the measurements of it and the plans for how to make it. I think I did this because I wanted to seem cool. Like I thought it would be really, I would look really cool and smart if I wrote down numbers. Whenever I write down numbers, I feel both really cool and really smart. We have these cross hatching drawings of, of ladies. This is cool, look, I taped in this, I cut a hole out and then taped in like this the little window of an envelope. So it's like a window through. Ooh. No rowing experience, no problem. We have more gesture, more of Orchid's house. Did you know, did you know, did you know, did you know? And this is done in gouache. This is my first real gouache painting. It is bad, but that's okay. And then here it is. And I cut this piece out of it because I thought it looks like a canoe if I cut this piece out. And then we have, you know, just some keepsakes, I'd call them, a keepsake page. I really like this spread a lot. And it's like concerning, you know? Um, where can I buy food? Not all disabilities are visible. The doctor is in. Are you a champion? It's on us. And then this is like Emo Central. And it is known worldwide as Emo Central right here. This is like an unfinished collage. The idea is like this combination of like, oh, do well, like positive vibes, you know, all this like positivity. And then like behind it, you're all like, oh, I'm sad, you know? Look at how cool the texture is on this. I think this is awesome. Like with the paint layered over it, it gets past being colorful and playful and then gets into this like dirty, grungy, ugly situation. And then I did, um, what did I do for this? Pieces of tape? I did pieces of tape and then painted over the top. This, look at this, this is like freaky, isn't it? It's, you look at this and it says like psychotherapy. Isn't that freaky? We have this crossed hatch drawing of like rain coming down in a city with like a street light and tree branches and stuff. I What I did with this one was I didn't draw out any of the branches, you know? Like I just, I drew all the lines around it and figured out where I wanted the branches to go. It ended up looking like tentacles a bit, <laughs> but I kind of like that effect. And we've got this lady doing this situation. On this page, we've got another building sketch by the sea. Kids may okay this boomer to their heart's content. For the love of all that is holy, please stop talking, which is probably how you feel watching this video. Then we have me assuming my regular position. This hand drawing, which I still am really proud of, look at it, it's nice. It has so much like volume to it, what the hell? All of these hand sketches. If I could go back to the place I used to, I'd find it, I'd map it, I'd walk it, I'd run it, I'd find it, I'd map it, I'd walk it, I'd run it. The shadows on my bedroom window, colors on my curtain, I found them today in my marker case. I think this is a song that I was writing. I don't see many places where you'd have a dedicated space like this for hosting all kinds of things. And then we have the dedicated space. Here's the canoe. This is like a fishing village house that I never finished. We have escape. We have more gestures happening, more gestures and stuff. I was experimenting with this idea of having parts of the body missing. So it's just feet and then the upper body. Um, a beautiful evening walk. That doesn't even relate to anything on here. Like there's no, everyone's sitting. More gesture happening, give and take. Then we have the worst portraits you've ever seen in your whole life. Here we have some more gestures. I was in figure drawing class when I made this sketchbook. I don't know if you can, I mean, it's pretty obvious. So I really like, this one, the movement, like that's nice. Look at that. 
Um, more figure drawing stuff. I think I have to blur it, I don't know. And then this portrait, which is cool. The senior center is closed. During this winter when I made this sketchbook, I would wear this coat every single day on my walk uh, to school. And I found the exact coat in a magazine. Like this is the exact coat I would wear. And I uh, put it here and then I drew like myself in it. And I want to be very clear here that I did not wear heels like this to class, but this is how I felt. Like I thought I was very cool walking to school. In, in hindsight, you have to understand like the coat does not end at the knees, right? The coat ends like my feet actually were like here. So it's like a sleeping bag. This coat is like wearing a sleeping bag. You do look like a hot dog bun because of the tan color. And I remember many times slipping on ice, like sliding across. Like there was one time where I hit a patch of ice and keep in mind, like the walk, there's people all the way Everyone's watching you, everyone's seeing you and what you're doing. So I hit the, I, I hit a patch of ice and I slid and I slid like for many feet. P there were, there was a couple that laughed in my face after they saw me sliding on the ice. I slid past them, shot past them, managed not to fall on my heels, shot past them in this sleeping bag, hot dog coat shot past them and they laughed in my face and I didn't know what to do so I just laughed back with them but I didn't fall so but even if I had fallen like this would have padded the hell out of me you could jump off of the Empire State Building in this shit and you would survive here's more figure drawing stuff um we have Skeet Davidson look at this he's got a little Spongebob popsicle we've got this concerning this concerning pose um this lady with the longest torso the world has ever seen and then the wrapping lines around her legs and stuff enough is enough that's what i'm saying here we have hands different hand drawings these are pretty rough now like i feel like i've gotten better at drawing hands than this but maybe i haven't actually now that i'm thinking about it and then over here <laughs> this is like psycho what I did here was I decided to just draw my fingernails, not the rest of the hand. So I would pose my hand like this and draw just my fingernails where they went. And then a watermelon with fucking a garnish on it. A cat. More gesture, more gesture. These ones are kind of nice. That's some good movement happening there. More gesture. We've got... Will Smith, more figure here, more figure here. And I started adding in shadows using cross hatching. Even more, this one's kind of nice. The, uh, this foot is a little messed up. Some of the anatomy isn't quite right, but it's still cool feeling. Like you can really get a sense of the muscles and the like skin and the way that it goes over. We've got my dream pet dog. We've got a nake. We've got ballroom dancing. We've got all of the members of Radiohead, except for Johnny Greenwood, who I did, <laughs> who the reason I look, and you, if you see really faintly here, you can see where his face was supposed to go, but I never drew him. Um, I saved him for last because he's my favorite member of Radiohead. Well, it's between him and Tom York, but he's my, like one of my faves. And I saved him for last because his face is super distinct to me. But then I never drew him. Isn't that weird? Vital organ. Some stickers that I was gifted. We've got this lady who has caught a spider. I've gotten to the point with spiders. There are so many spiders where I live that I do not even catch them and put them outside anymore. I just look at them and I say, okay, well, it's not in my bed. So I don't care. Like, I just let them go now. There was a wolf spider in the in my bathroom with me the other day, and I'm not kidding. It was a wolf spider. It was this big, and it was crawling around on the wall. It was like, a, I guess, a small wolf spider by those standards. But it was crawling around, and I just let it. I just looked at it, and I was like, well, like, I, if I saw a poisonous spider, like a really poisonous one, I'd put it outside. But otherwise, I just let them, like, live with me. Okay, we have this, which is droplets of watercolor that I would hold, I'd hold my hand all the way up as high as it would go and let them fall into the page. And then I'd like blow them in directions with a straw. <laughs> I, I just blow them in directions with a straw. And we have this guy, this looks like fucking Groot. What is this? Um, nonsense. 
Okay, so this is where the sketchbook really breaks down. Like we're almost to the end. These are templates for a foam mask that I made. And then I started doing this idea of like really simple houses. This one is like this shitty drawing of a house and then like pearls inside or something. And then yeah, this next few pages, I thought it'd be cool to just do like really shit line drawings of houses. So we've got this house, which is like a, a what is that called? Like a ranch style house. We've got a skyscraper, a barn, and then one of those houses where the garage is built in. And then we have this woman who I, for I forget what her name is, but she's like woven through the paper, see? I like cut it and put her through. <laughs> she's like trapped there. This is, um, no, it's not Sharpie. What the hell? Crayola, Crayola marker, okay. I like how this page looks, it's kind of cool, right? It's like this yellow and then all these thumbprints. Like, that's cool. Walgreens. We have poetry, some watercolor leaves, nothing like a good watercolor leaf. It's the phone numbers I can't remember and numbers I don't remember who they belong to. Piled, staggered, like leaves. They used to be green. Draw life from glowing maples. Growing friendships, acquaintances, lost family members. Now they fade to brown. I can't tell when, which trees they are from. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's an interesting idea for a poem. Plans for a design that I never went through with. More plans for the same design. It's this, it starts out as a plant and then it grows and then it gets up and walks out of the pot. So it like grew, it turns into being alive. This is a watercolor out through some windows. It's a bit messy, but the feeling of it is nice. A character with a rose as a head. More watercolor of a tree. And I like just doing dots sometimes. This is a drawing of my piano. Then we have just a bunch of bullshit. This is, why would I put this in here? That's so stupid. I love seltzer, okay? You gotta understand. I know like there's a lot of people who hate seltzer. They have like a, anti-seltzer propaganda campaign going. But I love seltzer. I, I love like beer though. So like seltzer is just sober beer. You know what I mean? Like this is colored pencil, just an experiment with shading, I guess. A little watercolor of the lake and snow piled up next to it. Like watercolor effects happening. That's a pretty little, little watercolor. A pretty little watercolor right there. I'd say yes it is. Yes, it is another pretty little watercolor right here. I'd say it is. Yes, it is. And I'm sorry. Faces. Look at this. So this is a um like a collage, a really like layered, grungy collage of marker, paint, watercolor, pictures from magazines. More of that technique I said where I did like alcohol on the um, magazines transferred down, scratched up, made disgusting. I like stuff to look aged sometimes, really aged, like it's been laying in the dirt. So this has a laid in the dirt look. Also, I think it's cool sometimes when stuff bleeds through, you can take the stuff that's bled through and you can draw on it, look. So you could create a whole thing just by drawing on bled through stuff. More watercolor droplets from like 10 feet up in the air, but onto water this time. So they splay out. This poor lady who's been caught in the crossfire. This guy, <laughs> what is that? Why is that there? Oh, by the way, I have a cup of milk. I meant to drink it, but it's not, I haven't drank in it yet. So it's still here. I ain't drank in my milk yet. You, I know people are gonna have shit to say about my cup of milk, okay? But you. Listen, like, I like milk. I like milk, okay? There's lots of people who like milk. And then we've got this family, and they're holding hands, and they're hanging out. They're having a good time. Rihanna. Rihanna. Rihanna is right here. A collage here. This is upsetting to look at. More seltzer taped in. These, I don't know what these go to at all. I just cut them out. I think they're just like products. They probably just like lipstick and lotion and shit. And then kicked, kick it to the curb. And I start losing steam very clearly. 
Um, yes, that's a chicken. Delicious your way. It's the crying baby that gets the milk, meat, bones, and fish. Like, a, it's a cow man. I don't know what else to say. This dragon that I didn't finish, but it looks cool. Maybe I should revive it. It's all stupid and stuff in the face. It's very nice. Little cute horsies. A uh, little Adventure Time guy. Well, I don't even know if this is an actual guy from Adventure Time, but it is inspired by it for sure. And it's so cute. Look at it. We have this dude. And then I think that's, is that it? Yeah, that's it. And then there's a few blank pages. And then, <laughs> yeah, I did it. Which, <laughs> um, like, t I guess to celebrate being done with the sketchbook. And it says, thanks for the fruitcake. And then Judge Judy is here. That's my sketchbook tour. Um, I guess I've been seeing like people's sketchbooks that are very refined looking. And I've also seen ones I mean more like this, you know? But I sometimes when you see sketchbooks, I think that are like so super refined, it can be like intimidating. So I wanted to share this one because it's all over the place, you know? The moral of the story is just like to make something. Like if you want to make something, even a little bit, then you should do it. And that's the message of the day. And that's my little emotional two cents, you know? If you enjoyed the sketchbook tour, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the video. And I have all kinds of stuff on my hands now. <laughs> um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, if that platform still exists. Also on TikTok, you could comment and let me know like what your favorite thing is out of the sketchbook. You could tell me, oh, what's your opinion on milk? Like drinking straight up milk. This is going to start a, a war right but i think that's great like one of my goals is to, in life is to like start an actual full-on war you know because there are people who think this is so crazy that i'm like drinking milk sometimes if i want a snack i just drink milk and you guys are gonna think that's gross some of you will think it's gross just me showing you this on the screen what's your opinion on on straight up milk i love milk it's my favorite thing i hope that you have a lovely rest of your day or night or if you're just gonna go to sleep now, I hope you have a wonderful night's sleep. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.